welcome back to my channel. Today, hmm, what is today? First day of October. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, anyway. Um, so today I am going to be doing a buckle haul of everything that I have accumulated since my last haul um, that I filmed at Lauren's house. I'm pretty sure that's the last one. Anyway, if you guys didn't see that, I will link it below so you guys can see everything I got that time. Otherwise, I'm going to show you everything else I got since then and this is all accumulated mainly because I did get a job there um, recently left so a lot of this is from discounts but um yeah we're just gonna get on started so to start off with jeans all of my denim um, currently I am wearing one right now actually I'll just do my quick outfit um, this is from here too it's just like a sweater Deal. Anyway, and then these are the jeans. Tank top is also from there. It's a spaghetti shard one. So anyway, so I have these two jeans. One of them I have already worn, which is this one. It's got slits all the way down them. pretty much the same one, it just has splits on the knees, so, yep, and these are both 24 regulars, and these brands is Can Can and Flying Monkey, if you ever do go in a buckle, and you're like a, like a thin girl, very petite, like small everywhere, um, Can Can, Flying Monkey are going to be like your best bets because it has more of a slimmer fit. So it's gonna hug your body more, more, but also give you more shape in your butt and like your problem areas. Like for me, that's my butt because I don't have one. So <laughs> yeah. So there's that. So then I have this light wash. This one is Flying Monkey. Very simple. Nothing too extravagant. These are, those are skinnies, by the way. Then I have another one, which is Miss Me. Very light wash. Light, super light wash. And then the pockets have this design on them, sparkly jewels. And it's kind of like a fake one, because actually it's a normal pocket, but it has that little thing on it. So that's kind of cool. Throws you off a little bit. Can fully distressed, it's kind of got a vintage look to it that you can wear with like browns, neutrals, or pretty much corals, oranges, browns, tans, things like that, like the warm colors, the warm neutrals I guess you could say. So yeah, that's that. I have another can-can, light wash with distressed hairs all through them, and I actually rolled them up to make them capris one day when I wore them. I wore these ones to six flats. Um, one is Flying Monkey. Already worn all these. Got both of these and then like a cuff. Kind of like that. That's kind of like it's kind of cool. Let's get to them. This one is Flying Monkey. Vintage, all fringe. 
day trip extra small, which this one actually runs kind of big. So it's got like corals, teals, olive green, pink, blue, purple all over it, red. So that's that's that, and then just the back. Nothing special about the back, um, and it is like a high low sort of style. So it's this plaid red and navy shirt. Very comfortable, very, very, very comfortable. I just did this to tie like on my waist around it, which is kind of like the new style now. Um, and then I got this white shirt, which is BKE red, and this one was just a random brand that plaid shirt was a random brand. I don't know, I can't read it, but anyway. Um, so that's that. It's just kind of like a normal t shirt, and then the back is see-through with that little fashion V. It's kind of interesting. And then this one is American Fighter. I love it. It's long sleeve. Um, very long, actually. <laughs> it's kind of like a boyfriend type style. Pink, black, gray. And then that's what the back looks like. Which is like this. It's got lace down the sides, long sleeve, red, detailing, and then the back is just like that. So you can definitely see the detail on that lace. And then this one is just an obey shirt. It's kind of like an everyday shirt where you can wear it like a bed or just to throw on with some jeans, um, whatever. I like obey. Their, their stuff is really comfy. Um, this one is another sinful shirt. So that's that. Long sleeve again. The back looks like this. Which looks like that.
blue. It's clear with yellow, mustard yellow lining all the way down, if you can kind of see that, I don't even know. And then blue like berry flower kind of print to it. Um, it's got two pockets and yep. So that's that. I have this and these I got all in smalls by the way. I love these tanks. Like these are legit tanks like spaghetti strap ones. Oh my god. So this is like a mint green which it does not do well on camera at all. This is like a deep purple which I have worn already. And then I got a brown. Some of these I did need as far as like color wise but some of them I like never had the color so I just figured I'd pick one up. And then just a white one. And then this coral one which I have been wearing a crap ton of. So that's all the tanks. And then my cardigans. I've already worn this one and I will link a picture. This is what I wore on barbecue on Sunday. Um, it's this cover up. Does not do well I'm trying to describe it without a hanger. Anyway, these are the sleeves. And then the back is this opening. You'll see on that picture. And then the detail and the collar. It's like a rose gold um, sequin style. Which the brand is DKE. And then I have this like knitted type of cardigan style best look with a hood. And this is also BKE brand. So that is what that looks like. Sweater knitted look. Chevron on the like sleeve. Kind of like this part that would be right here. Um, and then it goes very far down like that. Kind of in a v. And then this hood. So that's that. I was very iffy on these, but I kind of like really loved them once I tried them on. I'm like pretty much piece this together with anything. So this is um, Gimmicks. And it's this style. Vintage look with black and white fringe. Black, I'm sorry. Um, kind of like a maroon, burgundy kind of red fringe. Um, and then that's what the back looks like. It's this floral, very pretty, mature floral pattern, and then it fades into a deep purple, burgundy kind of color. Um, and then the next one that I have, I'm pretty sure is the same gimmicks. Oh, no, it's not. Taylor and Sage, okay. <laughs> this one I got in a medium just because I didn't have a small, and like I didn't mind wearing this one a little bit bigger, so I'm not really, really worried about it. Um, but this one is another sheer one. So once again, I'm gonna try on all of these in full effect. And the sleeves are like bigger. They're kind of like bell, bell sleeves, if you can call um, So it starts out, this is like the design, if you can see that. And then it's like blue, navy, red, white, and then it fades into like a coral type of color. So, sorry, people are texting me. <laughs> I need to get a legit camera. Um, so yeah, that's everything as far as clothes goes, and then I'm going to show you all of my um, jewelry, accessory type deals. Um, first off, I'm going to start off with the shoes that I got, that I finally got out of Layaway. Corral Vintage. <laughs> you guys are going to flip. Ready? Oh, look how like legit these are. Absolute legit. It's got fringe on the back very distressed that's what the toe looks like buckles around and then the inside is like this teal floral kind of print oh my god legit it's festive so that's kind of what that looks like very pretty this one The last pair of earrings. Oh, just kidding, another pair of festive ones. I've worn these ones a lot already. It's like this hoop style. I think I have shown. I think I showed this in my last one, but I don't know if so I can figure out what to show it again. 
one, including, I'm pretty sure I have showed you guys this one. I don't really know. So there's this one. offer layaway. Uh, you just basically put a 20% uh, down payment on it and then they'll set you up payment dates. Basically like, kind of like a credit card but it's just you just keep paying without actually having the product in hand. Um, and then when it's all paid off then you'll get it back. Um, they also do offer the buckle card which I have. Um, I have a very small limit on it so once I do put money onto it. I do make payments to pay it off. That way I keep my credit in good standing. Um, so yeah, those are just a few ways in case it is expensive and you're like, holy crap, that's kind of a way to go about it. Um, so yeah, that is it. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. If you like hauls or if you want to see more of hauls, um, comment below for any suggestions or anything that you think um you would like to see from me anything at all so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye